In this problem, we have a pen that has a spring inside of it. A spring is a coil of wire that stores potential energy when compressed or elongated. We compress the pen with the spring inside of it using a clamp. Every one revolution of the clamp equals 1.5 millimeters of travel. We take a note of the force at each half turn or 0.75 millimeters of travel and plot the data. What will the graph look like? Take a look at these graphs and predict which graph will represent the force first displacement of the pen being compressed. Will it be A, B, C, or D? Also in this video, we'll be using the formula to determine the force from being compressed a given distance and the potential energy of the spring being compressed. To complete this problem, we will have to use the formula known as Hooke's Law, which states that the force from a spring is equal to the negative spring constant or how much unit of force is required to compress the spring by a given distance multiplied times the displacement of the spring. In this case, the displacement is negative because it is being compressed. If we were to be elongating the spring, it would be positive. So abbreviated, force of spring equals negative k, or the spring constant, times x, or negative displacement. Being we have two negatives, it will result in a positive force. So the graph of the pen being compressed is at the top of the slide. I took the average force in newtons per millimeter of displacement and ended up with a spring constant of 0.57 newtons per millimeter of compression. Note, the spring constant is the same as the slope of the line of the graph, so it is rise over run. Now to solve for our theoretical force after being compressed 1.5 millimeters, we plug in our spring constant of 0.57 newtons per millimeter compressed and our displacement of 1.5 millimeters into the formula. We are left with a force of 0.85 newtons. So now looking at the graph and looking at the equation, we can see that the trend for the force first displacement is for the graph to go up linearly at a constant rate. The equation for Hooke's Law is the same as a linear equation for a graph. If you picked graph D, you were correct. So now, let's go over how to find the potential energy stored in the spring after being compressed 3 millimeters. To do so, we must find the area under the curve. We can do this in one of two ways. The first is using calculus to integrate the force times displacement formula, or Hooke's Law equation. We are left with an equation that states that half of the spring constant times the displacement squared equals the elastic potential energy. The second way is to use our knowledge of geometry in triangles. We have a triangle with height of k times x and length of x. Plugging that into the area of a triangle formula, we get 1 half times the spring constant times displacement squared equals elastic potential energy. Plugging in all of our dividends, we are left with an elastic potential energy of 2.565 joules. I am getting close to the 4,000 subscriber mark. To commemorate this, I am giving away 5 pens to viewers who live in the lower 48 United States. If you want to be entered in for a chance to win a pen, you can send me an email at my business email, vamphysicsyt at gmail.com. The winners will be selected by the end of November of 2019. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thanks for watching.